Welcome to a GCN Tech unboxing where you have the chance to win an awesome prize. This time we're giving away the all new, brand new Elite Riser. But what is an Elite Riser? Well, it's a gradient simulator able to replicate gradients such as going uphill and downhill and so much more. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about it, demo how it works and then finally I'll tell you how you could be one of the first people in the world to have one as soon as they become available later in the year. But before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to GCN Tech so that you don't miss out on the chance to win future prizes because we give away loads of cool stuff on this channel. Whatever you choose to call it, riding your bike indoors for fun, for racing or for training has become incredibly popular and that's partly down to technology such as this. So it's able to replicate gradients and descents as steep as negative 10% and climbs as steep as 20%, so similar to some of the toughest climbs in the world. It does so by automatically tilting your bike up and down to mimic the terrain on sort of online platforms that you're riding on, such as Zwift for example. And when you're using those online platforms, the super cool part here with this, which sets it apart from anything else, is the ability to turn your handlebars here, meaning you can steer, meaning you can change the position of your rider in the game and in the group that you're riding in. And you can also change some of the drafting properties in game as well. Now that is super cool. Now currently, there aren't many online platforms that offer much in the way of in-game steering. However, Elite are working incredibly closely with Zwift to make sure there's an update ready for release in line with the release of the riser. Some of you at home might be sat there thinking, why do I need the riser? But to be fair, it is far more than just a fancy new gadget to move your bike up and down and allow you to steer. It serves as an important training tool for those who want to get the very best from their indoor workouts. So by moving the position and the angle of the bike, recreating the positions that you'd experience out on the road, you therefore change how you sit on the bike and how you pedal, which changes the different muscles that you use, which is slightly different to that usual static position when sat on an indoor trainer. This is an area Elite have tested with a number of different athletes. And Elite actually say that by riding your favorite climbs using the riser, you can improve your performance and athleticism for cycling uphill to make you a more accomplished climber. So we know what the unit does and how it can improve your cycling, but how does it actually work? Because I don't know about you, but I love working out and trying to find out what's going on inside technology like this. The steering aspect uses a position sensor inside here to know how far and how fast you're turning the handlebars so that it can recreate those actions in game where you're riding. And it also uses a number of different bearings to get a nice smooth and realistic feel to recreate what you'd experience out on the road. And the technology inside here is very similar to what's used in Elite Steer Zone model. So it means the technology is tried and tested. The gradient aspect of this uses a metal gear and thread system inside to ensure for great longevity and reliability of the riser. But what this also means is that it has an incredibly smooth and responsive action to recreate the gradient changes that you're experiencing in game. And in fact, this can go from its steepest 20% incline setting all the way down to its steepest descent, which is negative 10%, within 10 seconds. So it's pretty quick, isn't it? As the riser alters the gradient that you're riding on, it will in fact alter the wheelbase of your bike. And to account for that, the riser runs on these two metal rails with bearings so it can slide and adjust to mimic the wheelbase changes of your bike to make sure you've got a secure riding platform. To help further with a secure platform, we've got a nice wide base with four adjustable rubber feet. Again, to keep you nice and secure on the bike and have a solid feel when you're doing the toughest of efforts. In terms of using the riser, it's a nice, simple affair. You just need to attach your bike onto a smart trainer and then onto the riser and using the supplied axle adapter suitable for disc brakes or if you've got a quick release setup. 
The riser should automatically pair to your smart trainer, but if it doesn't, you just simply press the middle button for three seconds and it'll enter its pairing mode and then automatically connect. All that's left then is to connect your smart trainer to Zwift or whatever online training platform you decide to use and choose a nice hilly course to make sure you get full use of the riser. If you're riding on Zwift, for example, you can actually change how closely the riser mimics the terrain you're riding on by simply changing it in the settings. The riser has two modes, first of which is simulation or automatic. This means the riser is going to replicate the terrain that you're riding on in game, for example. This is indicated by the little LED light being lit up next to this lock symbol, which is the middle button. The next setting is open or manual mode, so you can just press the lock symbol here the LED light will no longer be illuminated and you can use the left and right or up and down buttons on the unit itself to change the gradient manually however you choose to do so. Just press these buttons on the top and then you can go all the way back down in nice incremental stages and if you press them at one go like that, the riser will work its way all the way down to its lowest setting. You can go from its lowest position up to the steepest gradients using the touch of the buttons on the front of the riser. This will take you all the way up into its steepest settings, replicating some of the toughest climbs in the world up to 20%. If you don't want to use the buttons on the top of the Elite riser, you can just use the Elite mobile phone app, but more on that in a minute after this tough climb. Elite have worked hard on the riser to mimic some of the feelings and movement that we get when we're riding outside on the road. And the steering function really helps with the feeling of this, as well as the fact the bike is able to move slightly side to side. This really helps with the pedaling fluidity and the movement of the handlebars that we're familiar with when we're out on the road. Right, time for more technical details on the riser. So it uses a Bluetooth and Ants Plus FEC wireless protocol, which is basically the same as almost all wireless equipment. But what this does mean though, is that the riser is not only compatible with elite smart trainers, but other smart trainers too. Now I can't go through and list every single model of smart trainer that the riser is compatible with, but in simple terms, if your smart trainer allows the bike to pivot at the rear axle, and it broadcasts that gradient simulation data, which to be honest, most current models do, then it's likely that your smart trainer will be compatible with the Elite Riser, which is great if you've already invested in a smart trainer, meaning you've got the option to add products like the Elite Riser to your indoor training setup. Now that's quite a lot of information so far, so let me take you through some of the slightly less technical aspects of the Elite Riser. Now like most Elite Smart Trainers, it's manufactured in Italy. It stands at 728 millimeters tall, and this platform is 345 millimeters by 378 millimeters wide. So a nice stable base. It's almost entirely made from metal, a mix of steel and aluminium. So that means you've got a construction which should stand the test of time. So on the rear here, we've got this really nice leather handle, which is actually embossed with the Elite logo on. It makes, makes it a breeze moving the riser around. And then finally, the Elite riser has a maximum load of 120 kilograms. As I mentioned earlier, there is indeed an Elite Riser smartphone app suitable for both Android and Apple devices, and that will enable you to control the riser if you don't want to use the buttons located on the top of the unit. In addition to that, it will also enable you to check and update the firmware as required. And as a nice little bonus, you can set up five different profiles, ideal if you've got multiple people that will use the riser, different trainers or different bikes, for example. So there you have it, the brand new Elite Riser, which is due to be available towards the end of August. But to be one of the first people in the world to get your hands on one, you can quite simply click on the link in the description down below and fill out all of the information required to enter our competition. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up and why not let me know in the comments section down below what you think of indoor training. And I know I said it earlier, but consider subscribing to GCN Tech to make sure you don't miss out on our future giveaways. See ya.